Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be reacting to a TikTok video. I've seen actually a lot of videos from this creator, and I tend to like the majority of what she says. I think she tends to be a really great influence for women over on that platform, um, and she has a lot of followers. So let's watch it, reconvene, and we'll talk about what I think per usual. Let's talk about three possible reasons why you're still single. Number one, you're not single because there are no good men. You're single because you haven't met enough men. Some of us are lucky enough to find the right guy in the first few tries, and others, like myself, need to go on about 200 first dates in order to find our husband. Yep, I went on about 200 first dates in my 20s because I knew that every wrong date led me closer to the one that mattered. Number two, you're prioritizing everything else besides dating because the movies have told you that the right man will just fall into your lap. The right man can't find you if you never leave your house. Sure, timing is important, but you also have to put yourself in a position to meet the the right guy at the right time. The two most important decisions you'll make in your life is what you do and who you decide to do it with. If your goal in life is to find a life partner, you need to start looking at dating as another career and not ancillary to your actual career because the things we prioritize end up prioritizing us. Number three, you're wasting your time holding on to hope for a guy who's almost perfect but whose fatal flaw usually involves him not wanting to commit to you. And you think if you just give him enough time to find himself, he will eventually find a way to commit to you. After all, you've invested so much time already and what a waste it would be to let it go. This is the sunk cost fallacy holding you back. The time is gone, you'll never get it back, and the more time you sink into the wrong relationship, the less time you'll have to find the right one. Above all, maybe you're still single because deep down you want a partner but don't believe you deserve the one you want. And there's nothing like the fear of getting rejected by who and what you want that keeps you from going after your dreams. Because doesn't it feel safer for your ego to not get what you want because you've convinced yourself you don't want it than to get rejected by something or someone you fought for? But just remember that the things worth having in life are the things worth fighting for. So fight like your life depends on it because you know what? It does. Mic drop. All right, before we get into it, big thanks to Tish Hanley for sponsoring today's video. Tish Hanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. If you're just starting out, I recommend the level one system, which comes with all of the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating face scrub that's going to get rid of that dead skin and make you look all glowy for summertime, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you are tough but you are not tougher than the sun, gentlemen, and a PM moisturizer to use before bedtime. And to make it even easier, they provide this instruction card in every single box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. This is not something you wanna put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging right now. In 10 years, when your skin looks better than every other guy, you're gonna remember this moment and thank Courtney Ryan for recommending T. Hanley. So in addition to amazing skin, members of T. Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link down in the description and you'll get 30% off of your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. Overall, love the video. I think she made a lot of great points that are common reasons why many women are single today. So we're gonna break down each point she made, elaborate a little bit more with some of my personal thoughts um, as someone who gives advice to men and kind of sees the other side of it. I'm also going to add in my own point or two at the end because I think there are some other reasons why women are single too that were not mentioned here. So the first one is you're not single because there are no good men. You're single because you haven't met enough men. And obviously my audience is mostly men, so I thought it would be helpful for you guys to hear you know, why women are single. I think a lot of times you get bombarded with what you're doing wrong, why you're single, what you know men are doing that is the problem. Sometimes it's helpful to hear the opposite side and see you know, things that are maybe out of your control or things that women are doing that are you know, contributing to the singleness all around as well. So her first point was, you're not single because there are no good men, you're single because you haven't met enough men. I have to agree with this, and I think this is a great message for women because this no good men thing, I find to be very harmful. Um, for both men and women and clearly not doing anyone any favors. And more importantly, completely untrue. So let's unpack this. And while we're on the topic, there are so many good men out there, but if women keep telling themselves that there are no good men, they'll eventually stop trying and looking the same way that many men have done. There's an entire movement called Men Go Their Own Way, MGTOW, whatever the heck it is here on YouTube, where men have just thrown in the towel and given up. And I think women are going to start doing this if they're continuously hearing there's no good men, all men suck, all men or trash, what do you think that's going to do? What's going to be the results of that? Nothing good. And I would say the same thing to guys who say there are no good women or all women suck, all women are this, all women are that. 
it's not true. You can't generalize to that degree. It's really harmful to think that and creates a very negative view of the opposite sex, which I don't love and I cannot get behind. So yes, back to her point, you have to put in effort and actually be someone that those good men or women would want to be with too. In terms of actually meeting a good man, well, that requires effort on your end towards yourself, right? And also putting yourself out there leaving your house, going to places where men that you want to be with would be. If you're going out to the club every single weekend trying to find your dream man, or men, I would give you the same advice too, if you're going out to the club or the bar every single weekend trying to find your dream partner and it's consistently not working out for you, well, maybe change your tactics, maybe change where you're going. Um, and if you're not leaving your house at all, well, then I don't even know what to tell you. Women have much more luck on dating apps than men do, so I would give you guys completely different advice here. Most women I know have met their significant other on a dating app, so I think, sure, from the comfort of your own home as a woman, you could still find a great man, but the same is not necessarily always true for men. I think men have a much harder time on dating apps. Actually, I don't think that, I know that, um, given the statistics, the amount of men and women on the apps. And then I hear people say things like, well, there are no good people on dating apps. Also not true, there's a lot of introverts on dating apps. I'm an introvert, I don't personally go do a lot of things, so I found that the apps worked really well for me. But anyway, I've gotten totally off track here, back to her original statement. Yes, there are good men out there. The problem is not that there are no good men, it's either where you are trying to meet these men or the fact that you are not trying at all. Simple as that. Her next point was you're prioritizing everything else besides dating, and she mentioned the things we prioritize end up prioritizing us. Amen, sister. If something is important to you, you have to make it a priority in your life, dating included. She also made a really great point at the end of the video that I think ties in here perfectly of, you know, isn't it easier or safer for our ego to pretend that we don't want something that we don't already have instead of actually working for it or getting rejected by that thing that you do want. And I think that right there perfectly sums up this independent boss babe that doesn't need a man phenomenon that's happening. You know, there's obviously more to it, but I think that was a really great little statement um, that just ties in so perfectly here. I think a lot of women pretend that they don't want or need a man because they can't seem to get one. Whether this be because they're solely focused on their career, they're not prioritizing anything else, um, or they have a bad attitude and men don't like them. I mean, there are so many reasons here. Uh, but anything worth having requires work, effort, and energy. And telling yourself that you don't want something just because you don't want to work for it or you can't have it is not beneficial or productive to you if deep down you really do. And I think to lie to yourself and tell yourself that you don't want something just because you don't want to put in the effort or things are not working out for you isn't helpful, right? And it's, it's going to make you feel unfulfilled long-term. But yeah, there are a lot of women now who are so focused on every other area of their life and they aren't even thinking about dating because a lot of them think that, oh, it'll just happen or the right guy's just gonna show up. Um, and I just, I don't think that that's true. And I think anything worth having requires some level of effort, energy, and work. And if you're a woman who's very career driven, you're working all the time, you know, you're making that money, that's great. But if you want to find yourself in a marriage and have a long-term healthy relationship, you have to make sure that you're nourishing those aspects of your life as well. And I would give the same advice to guys. I get a lot of questions from men about how do I date when I live such a busy lifestyle or I'm trying to make my money, I'm trying to, you know, advance in my career, I spend so much time working, I feel like I don't have time for dating or to meet women. Um, and the harsh reality is that you kind of just have to make time um, and, and maybe take a look at your own life and realize, you know, is this not a great time for me right now to be spreading myself thin and doing all these things? You know, you kind of have to look at your own situation and evaluate that and really, you know, trust your own judgment there. But I do think if you are someone who wants to be in a long-term relationship, you want to be in a marriage, you want to have that life partner, you have to be willing to put in the work even if you are busy. You know, if you're dating and you expect someone to make you a priority, you should be making them a priority as well. And I think it's a really great thing to practice. You know, it's not necessarily always about having time, it's about making time. So however you have to go about doing that. Um, but yes, you know, you're prioritizing everything else besides dating, I think is the case for a lot of women for a multitude of reasons. The next point was you're wasting your time holding on to hope for a guy who is almost perfect, but his fatal flaw is not wanting to commit to you. I think we can all see the issue there. 
You cannot change someone and you shouldn't stay in a situationship waiting for them to wake up one day and decide they want to commit to you. Stop wasting your time. I would give this advice to both men and women here of stop wasting your time on people who are indecisive about you. Indecision is a decision. You should want to be with someone who is sure about you and doesn't treat you like a second option, who doesn't, you know, sleep around with other people or, you know, not want to commit to you. I think there are a ton of different issues at bay here, but I think far too many people go into a relationship or are in a relationship hoping that they can change this person. And that's just not how it works and kind of reframe your mind to look at it as what you see is what you get. You know, what's right in front of you? Imagine if they stayed like that forever. But on the topic of commitment here, I think situationships and hookup culture have created a major fear of commitment in a lot of people, both men and women included, and that's not healthy or fulfilling. If you're someone who values commitment, do not accept any less than that. Don't stay in a four-month situationship hoping that one day they'll wake up and want to commit to you. And for the men watching, don't waste your time chasing a girl who has made it clear that she is not interested. If she wanted to be with you, she would. If she wanted to talk to you, she would. Really start watching what people do instead of what they say, and you will see things so much more clearly. And that right there, my friends, is what we call having standards. Focus on the real standards and the foundation that your relationship is built upon, like shared values, morals, life goals, the things that really matter here. Not how tall someone is, not how much money they spend on you, which leads me to my next point that I'm throwing in here and adding because I think it's important. Another reason why I believe women are single is because of unrealistic expectations and this idea of perfection. Let's cut the crap with the almost perfect language because that right there is another reason why women are single. No man is perfect, no woman is perfect. Every single relationship is going to require some level of compromising. The idea that someone should be perfect, the illusion of endless options, and waiting for something better to potentially come along is keeping so many women chronically single. And what has perpetuated all of these ideas? Social media, dating apps, Instagram, TikTok, If you are so quick to write someone off over minuscule things that truly don't matter at all, that signals to me that you're actually emotionally unavailable and nowhere near mentally ready or capable of a healthy relationship. And I think this is a state that we find so many people in today. I think as a society, we focus on so many things that just truly don't matter. And I think women are really getting standards and preferences mixed up because of all of these ideas and all this content being made on social media, telling them that they should not accept a guy who doesn't fly them out or buy them designer stuff or make a million dollars a year. Like it's just getting so ridiculous and it has completely made us focus on things that actually don't matter at all. Does a man being financially independent and stable matter? Yes, absolutely it does, but that does not mean he needs to make a million dollars a year or buy you designer handbags, okay? Like, let's cut the crap. I've reacted to so many videos that fall into this category here of perpetuating this idea of, you know, unrealistic expectations, perfection, a man treating you like a princess, and if he doesn't, then he's dusty and he sucks. Um, A guy who doesn't make 100K sucks. I mean, I've just, I've really seen it all. The ick videos where they're saying the way that a guy scoots into a booth or took a photo made them not want to talk to him anymore and made them not like the guy anymore. If we are nitpicking people to this extreme and focusing on all of these factors that don't contribute at all to a long-term, healthy, or fulfilling relationship, we're going to end up with a lot of single people, a lot of sad people, a lot of people who will be consistently disappointed, Um, and it's not going to be great. And I just hate to see it. I would hate to see a woman, you know, end things with a man because they saw a video on TikTok say, if he doesn't buy you a car, he's dusty. Like I, I have literally seen it all. I'm not, I'm not being dramatic. I just think as a society, we're teaching women to focus on the wrong things. So when I see a woman giving great advice and, you know, really being a good role model, I like to highlight that here too, especially so you guys who watch me can see that there are other great women as well. If you're only seeing crazy, unrealistic content or podcasts who always highlight really poorly behaved, you know, not the greatest women you're gonna think that's how all women are and it's just not true. So I always like to react to videos where a woman is you know, giving great advice to other women specifically. I think it's really important for men and women to have wonderful role models who set a great example and actually say things that matter. 
um, instead of just spewing this nonsense about luxury vacations and bags and trips. While all of those things are privileges and wonderful to have in life, they are not a necessity and certainly not a requirement of a healthy relationship. And I'd love to hear from a male point of view what you think some other reasons are why women are single, also why men are single. What I don't wanna see is you being hateful and bitter in the comments talking about wine and cats and just being, a, just being a meanie, okay? We don't need that here. This is productive, this is healthy. We're trying to help each other. We're trying to come together as genders to make things better. That is what we're doing here. We're not gonna be hateful and bitter. I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. If you have time for that, get a life. But there's certainly some overlap with the points I mentioned, but I think there are also other reasons for men that don't necessarily apply to women. And I'm gonna do an entire video about that soon. So it would be helpful for me to hear your perspectives too, since I'm a woman and most of you who watch are men. So if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. If you have any videos you want me to react to, you can tag me on TikTok send them my way on Instagram, whatever floats your boat and is the easiest. We'll just love to get some suggestions from you guys per usual. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.